The tragic month of June is finally over, which means July is finally here, and now we about to get to the nitty gritty. It's a bunch of sneakers, bruh. It's a whole bunch of shoes that's coming out that we gotta talk about. Here's a full rundown of what sneakers to be on the lookout for. I'll put together a list of 10 of the best sneakers dropping in the month of July. I got the retail price, I got the day stay dropping, and any information you probably gonna need about the sneaker. I got you. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are into keeping up with the newest sneakers releasing. I try my best to get these videos out like once a month, just giving y'all a sneak peek on what's coming out, retail prices, the whole nine, so you can know what to look forward to going into the month. So without further ado, bruh, let's get into July. Coming up at number one, we got the Air Jordan 13 Wolf Gray True Red, and I, these released July 1st for the retail price of $210. Now let's keep it a bean, all right? Coming in July early, we get a pair of Air Jordan 13s, they decent, all right? Um, I'm not really really too much tripping on these. On top of that, Jordan brand 210 for these is kind of insane, man. I don't think that nobody really gonna be checking for these. It's not an OG colorway. The colorway isn't popping off the Richter scale. It's nothing that's compelling me to these. I do think that they're gonna perform pretty poorly, but the, hey, we just getting into July. Stay with me, stay with me. It's July 1st. If you are into 13s though, however, you know, 13 is a comfortable sneaker. Maybe this one is for you. Comment down below if you're picking this up or not. But July 1st, we get the Air Jordan 13 just to pop things off. However, July 6th is one of my personal favorite sneakers. I'm actually super excited that they're re-releasing this foam posit. We get the Air Foam Posit 1 Metallic Red for the retail price of $240, July 6th. So this sneaker right here, if you're into foam posits, man, this one is a coveted one. Now, it's also probably the most re-released since it came out, true enough, but it's only because of the popularity in the foam posit metallic red. The colorway is amazing. I don't like how they continue to like change the colorway over time. If this one looks like the OG that, that released some years ago, I will be picking this up. I just don't like that the reds be a little bit too bright. It's just, it's just not OG to me. And I'm not really too nitpicky on most sneakers, but this one just has to give me that OG feel. If it doesn't, I'm a pass, but if it do, I'm, I have no problem spending this 240. I, I've been public about it. I've been very vocal. I believe the phone positive is coming back. Um, I actually just unboxed a new phone positive. If you guys didn't check it out, I'll leave the link down below. I went on eBay, caught the pair that I missed that I let go of a while back. Coming up July 7th is the Air Jordan 1 High Golf Bordeaux, okay? Now, I believe we've seen the Air Jordan 1 Bordeaux before, and in my opinion, the Bordeaux colorway looks good on certain silhouettes, right? We get the Air Jordan Bordeaux 7s, which is kind of like a classic in my opinion, especially when we talk about Air Jordan 7s. I mean, it gotta be one of the most popular fan favorite colorways of all. However, the Air Jordan 1 Bordeaux just isn't for me, all right? This one will be releasing only for the retail price of 180. We know that Jordan 1s aren't that pricey, but I'm not sure how I feel about the Bordeaux colorway, bruh. It's like this burgundy, reddish, crushed berry. I don't really know the vibes, but what I do know is for anybody who like that Bordeaux colorway and like an Air Jordan 1, maybe this is one that you want to look into. Maybe this one you want to keep close on the list, and maybe this one you want to pick up. Hey, listen. I'm, I'm leaving that up to y'all. Up next is a cool sneaker, man. It's the New Balance 2002R, and it's the Shoe Palace Anniversary, celebrating their 30th year. Now, this release is July 7th for the retail price of $150, and I gotta say, bro, I have been really on the forefront of the New Balance wave, and the 2002R is one of their most popular silhouettes, alongside the 1906, of course, we know the 9060, we can go on and on. The 2002R not only stylish when it comes to streetwear and fashion, but it's also got this nice sleek dad type design. For all my OGs out there who only like Jordans, I know you probably don't wanna hear this part, but I do owe my subscribers more than just Jordan brand content, man, because there's other sneakers out there, bro. I gotta tap y'all in on what's dropping. They dropping July 7th, retail price not that expensive, and me personally, I love me a good colorway of the 2002R. I would've felt wrong if I left this off the list, so of course, it's right there, man. Check it out if you guys are into it. If you're not, I understand. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about the New Balance Wave as of right now. Up next is the Air Jordan 2 Low University Blue. It's coming out July 8th for the retail price of $150. I don't even think I have to ask too many people how they feel about this one. I think we know, right? The Air Jordan 1, UNC's always do great. The UNC colorway is amazing. The UNC 2 is even more popular than ever now that Virgil collaborated with the Chicago colorway and that Deep Royal. This one will go just as planned. In my opinion, I think I said this before in another video, bruh, if Virgil would've did the off-white Chicago and the off-white on this, the UNC, goaded. Now, since he didn't, we get like 
the Chicago that's like in GOAT regards, and then this one is just like, eh, not too many people checking for it. This UNC colorway will be the first Air Jordan 2 low I pick up ever. I've never owned one. I never went after one. And I think the retail price is so cheap, man. It just makes me feel better when I'm trying different sneakers because this will definitely be me trying to expand my style, trying to try something new. And nothing make me feel better about trying something I don't truly know if I want it other than not having to pay that much for it. So, hey, I like them. And I'm definitely going to be going after these. I know a lot of people like the UNC2 low colorway. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is a big sneaker in the month of July. Up next, we got the Air Jordan 7 Chambray. Now listen, man, the Chambray, Chambray, however you want to say it, bro. This sneaker is what I call vintage, okay? We haven't seen this one in a while. This colorway is fire. I actually remember going back, picking this up on eBay maybe a few years ago just because I wanted something different in the collection. I got this and um, I felt like I was holding the sneaker that was found in like a time capsule. It releases July 15th for the retail price of $200, which is pretty steep. And it's Air Jordan 7, which I don't know how it's gonna do. The reason why I'm a little shaky on this release is because after seeing how well the Air Jordan 7 Citrus did, which really wasn't that good, I think right now the Air Jordan 7 Citrus is still sitting, I was kind of surprised because when I seen photos of it, I was intrigued. I, I mean, I liked them, but not too many people cared. Don't even get me started on the Ray Allen 7s that dropped like four or five years ago. I mean, when they bring back some of these vintage retro 7s, they usually tend to not do that well. However, I'm gonna just keep my thoughts to myself. I, will, I can't wait till I get this sneaker in hand just for, man, nostalgia purposes. And more importantly, just because I'm a sneakerhead and I would love to see what they did with the new buck on this sneaker. They got a really good chance of making the leather and quality look fire. So my high, my high, my hopes is high for the Air Jordan 7 Chambray. Let me know what you guys think down below. Next up, we got the Nike Terminator High White Game Royal releasing July 22nd for the retail price of $125. Now hear me out. The reason why I put the Nike Terminator on here is because even though the silhouette isn't as popular as majority of the silhouettes on this list, I think it's growing. And I really do think it's growing due to the crazy success of the Nike Airship that's just been doing phenomenal. I mean, we've seen the every game collaboration, well not even collaboration with Colorway with the UNC, we seen them with the uh, OG red, the varsity red colorway, and now they had like this neutral gray. The closest silhouette that Nike has to that airship is the Terminator, and I'm seeing a lot of people like it. The retail price is low, it's affordable. They're making the college colorways. I can see this sneaker being bigger than what it is right now, a year from now, 100%. I can see the retail price going up from 125 to 175 over two years if the popularity continues to increase, because of course they'll be, I mean, they'll have to use better material, come up with different designs, or maybe even collaborations with other designers. So let me know. I mean, I know this was still pretty early. I know like sometimes when I'm too ahead of the curve, some chat be like uh, giving a little bit of pushback, but would you be down to rock this? Check it out, man. Let me know what you feel, but this is the Nike Terminator and it's on the come up. It's a sneaker that's not as popular yet, but it's on the come up though. It's, it's smooth, it's smooth. Of course, we cannot have this list without the most coveted sneaker of July, in my opinion. It's the Air Jordan 1 High UNC Toe, releasing July 22nd for the retail price of $180. And I mean, if you wanna put up a sneaker that symbolizes July, it's this sneaker right here. It's Jordan's brand's 20th time creating the Air Jordan 1 UNC. They've done it at least 20 times already, but I gotta give them credit. It does not seem to water down or dwindle the impact of a UNC Air Jordan 1. They decided to come in with this UNC toe, with this black toe box. I mean, the retail price is there. This will probably be the biggest release of the month. And I'm hearing good things. I even seen some early reviews. Shout out to my guy, Mike, this, Mike the Compass, AKA a Sneaker Life. He did a review on these. The material look amazing. The concepts look amazing. The color blocking is great. There's not really too many flaws on this Air Jordan 1, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is number one on the list, but let me know, out of all the sneakers we spoke on to so far, which one are you most excited to see and why? But yeah, that'll probably be my number one so far. I mean, it looked flawless, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, call me a hypocrite, it looked good, it looked good. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 1 Low Black Toe, OG. Now this is one of my personal favorites. It's releasing July 28th for the retail price of $140, and I might double up, bro. I'm feeling that good about it, no cap. Let me look in the camera, no bap. I might double up. These look good. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, you, you know what I'm saying? Summertime, sundress, 
looking good. It's, it's different, different level. Number one, I don't have the OG black toes high. I don't have that. And I love the color blocking of the black toe, man. It's one of those I always wished I had. More importantly, it's summertime. It's nothing better than wearing an Air Jordan 1 low in the summertime, man. Good fits, good vibes, good energy, bro. And I, I think this will probably be an everyday sneaker for me. And that's what I'm gonna probably need too. But just think about it. Buying two of these is only 280. The phone positive I talked to y'all about that's released in July 6th, is 240 by itself. So it's like two of these is damn near just one release from Nike. When you really add up how much these sneakers really cost, it's so cheap. And the sneaker and the idea and the color blocking is so fire. I might have to double up. I don't know if I'm the only person excited for this, but let me know. I need them. I need them. And last but certainly not least, we ended out the top 10 of July with the Air Jordan 12 Field Purple. It's releasing July 29th for the retail price of $200. I don't know why Field Purple, not Court Purple. Maybe they got tired of spamming that colorway because that colorway has definitely been spammed just as much as the UNC. But... We pretty much get an Air Jordan 12 court purple or dark purple. I'm not rocking with these. I'm not feeling these whatsoever. And I think this is Jordan brand kind of getting it, letting this off easy because they did a really good job in July. So I guess they wanted to just like cool it down to the tail end because I believe this is the last Jordan that's releasing in the month of July. Um, black and purple, just two colorways. I mean, if you were Sacramento and you're a Kings fan, this is all you. You know what I'm saying? If you got a De'Aaron Fox jersey and you matchy matchy, Go ahead and cop these, bro. But if you're not, I don't really know. Maybe if you you like the Baltimore Ravens or something like that. I can't stand them. I'm a Browns fan. You troll me later. I just I just can't do it. That pretty much sums up the sneakers of July 2023. I'm really looking forward to this month, man. It's one that I definitely had on my calendar. It's a lot of high quality releases that I can't wait to see. Anything you guys looking forward to, drop it down below. But do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content. And follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. Both of those are linked down below. I do a lot more other content that doesn't reach YouTube. A lot of more real sneaker content. If you guys want to check it out, it's all there. And Twitter It's just a good way to keep up with me and get in contact with me if you want to holler at me. Until next time, man, it is your boy, Sniper Jones. Thank you all so much for watching. You know I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous, but who really putting in that work, though? Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.